you know it. And the title of the speech is Consciously Redesigning My Subconscious Mind. Toastmasters and guests. I've always wondered why some people just seem to get more done with less effort. They seem to be happier, more excited about life, more energetic, more powerful. And you know what I found out after doing some research? I found out that it was their programming. Their thinking. It's the way that they think. So after reading a couple books, I realized that I've been programmed since birth. And you have too. How many of you guys think that you've been messed up? <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I think I've been pretty messed up. See, when we were growing up, all we heard was no, don't do that, you shouldn't touch this, you shouldn't go there. So we became fearful. We didn't know what we wanted to be. After the age of 18, basically everybody gives up on their dreams. I know I did. I was supposed to be, be an NBA player like most of you guys. <laughs> but what I realized was a lot of people have been programmed in the wrong way. If you think about it, some people, lie to themselves and they believe it. So I realized that I can really redesign my subconscious mind by really focusing on what I really want. So after reading a couple books and studying a couple people, most of these people, when they were growing up, they, their parents were more supportive, some of them were more supportive than others. Like, I read, a, I read an article about a kid. His father is super successful. So one summer, he asked his dad, he said, Dad, I, I want to make some money this summer. I don't want your money, I want my money. But all he knew while he was growing up was, was that they were rich. So that summer, his dad let him go out there and start selling. So him, as a 16-year-old, he was able to go out there and make $60,000. Why was that? Because his dad makes over a million dollars a month, so that's all he knows is a lot of money. So if you go out there and start redesigning your subconscious mind about what you want, you can really transform your life. So here's, here's some of the things that I started doing. I started reading more, that's one. I started talking to myself. I read a book which said, which uh, the book was, What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. And 70% of the conversations that you've ever had in your life are between you and you. So I started talking better to myself. I took a tape recorder and I recorded some of the things that I wanted to input in my mind. And I realized that I had to turn off the TV. I had to stop listening to the garbage on the radio. My mom was always watching the news, so I told her, look, you gotta turn that crap off when I'm around you. And I had to completely cut some people off. I had to completely cut them off because what they say to me becomes programmed in my mind. So once I realized that I cut a lot of people off, I don't even hang out with most of the friends that I grew up with because of that reason alone. So I would record this tape and I would put my goals on there. And while I was driving to work, I would talk to myself instead of affirmations. Because when you do, when you affirming something, your brain is really telling you, you can't do that. You're saying, I'm a winner, but your brain is really saying you're a loser. So you're not really believing it. So here's what I started doing. I started doing incantations. I learned that from Tony Robbins. It's more emotion than anything. So when you're in the car, when you're saying you're a winner, instead of saying it like this, hunched over, you need to say it with power and emotion. You need to, I'm a winner. Does that make sense? So I'm, I'm, I'm driving, people coming this way, somebody's behind me, somebody's in front of me, and I'm like, I'm a winner. I'm a champion. And I'm looking at some people, some people looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, okay. That's why you're in that car. And I'm gonna be in my what? My Aston Martin. So I don't care what they think. I'm just affirming and 
doing these in incantations. And then I realized that the subconscious mind doesn't sleep. So while I was going to sleep, I bought a thing called a pillow speaker. So I would put it under my pillow, and I would play some, some affirmations and incantations while I'm sleeping. And after a month or two, I started seeing some results. And when I woke up, I put my bowls on my mirror, and I started saying these things daily, day after day after day. And then one day, uh, some random lady just inboxed me on Facebook. And she saw, because I'm always positive, and I'm always watching what I say on it, she inboxed me. She said, hey, you should really check out this program. And it was called Prosper. So when I'm Prosper, I signed up. I had a mentor. And my mentor basically taught me some things on how to eliminate limiting beliefs. And I'm going to teach you guys. I paid a lot of money, but I'm going to teach you guys one thing that she taught me. And one thing was, it's called benefit of the benefit. Like, I'm going to get one of you guys to tell me, what's a limiting belief that you think you have that you want to eliminate? And I'm going to show you how you can eliminate it. Just yell it out. The picture where you think something bad is going to happen, but everything in life is going great. Okay, like, give me a specific one. A bill that I will never finish paying. A bill that I will, I will never finish paying? So I will never finish paying this belief. So let me ask you a question. What's the benefit of you believing that you will never pay that bill? What's the benefit? It's a cycle, just being brainwashed into the cycle. So being brainwashed into the cycle? Okay, so here's what I would say. The benefit, okay, for me, because I- I'm talking about student loans here, so you, know, you can't get away from student loans. <laughs> See, that, that's a belief again. So I, I will give you guys one of mine, right? I'm, let's say I'm afraid of public speaking, because we're, spe uh, we're here, we're in how to speak. I'm afraid of public speaking. So, Remy, what's the benefit of you believing that you're afraid of public speaking? So that I don't get out of my comfort zone. What's the benefit of you believing that you don't want to get out of your comfort zone? So I don't get embarrassed. Right? What's the benefit of you not getting embarrassed? So that I don't feel bad. So what's the benefit of you not feeling bad? So that I feel good about myself. So there's an underlying limiting belief under that simple belief, which is, oh, I don't feel good about myself. Does that make sense? So I, once I learned that, I started writing all of these limiting beliefs that I had, and I started going in one after another after another, and I realized that all of these thoughts that I, I've been programmed with since birth have been controlling my life, and I didn't even know it. So here's what I would say to you. Start listening to what you say to yourself and start questioning, is it the truth or are you just living like it is the truth? Man, I'm so special.